Hi everyone, uh, welcome to my channel. Once again, my name is Mary Oyekwere and I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that has engaged with um, my video thus far. Thank you so much for engaging and I really, really appreciate it. Today, I'm going to be talking about the frequently asked questions that have been asked so far regarding the two videos or the playlist that I have on YouTube regarding becoming a registered manager. I feel like this question needs to be addressed so that way people will have answers to them and you can be able to go back and watch this video if you have similar questions that you need answering. So I hope that is self-explanatory enough. I'm going to dive right into the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I appreciate your support, everyone. And let's dive right into the frequently asked questions. Okay, so first question. Do you need any qualification or diploma to have your C company CQC approved? Okay, the company itself, being the provider itself, the provider does not need a registry, I mean a qualification. Uh, but when you're registering to the CQC, you always have to register alongside the registered manager if you are in a company because CQC is for regulated activity. So who will be in charge of the regulated activity? So that's, therefore, who will be in charge of the regulated activity? A registered manager. So therefore, the registered manager must have a qualification that is acceptable for the role when they are applying as a for the provider so basically it's an hand in hand application which is what happened in my situation uh so we applied for the provider application and also the registered manager application at the same time so definitely i wouldn't say the provider needs a qualification but because there is no provider if there is no registered manager the person that is going to be regulating the activity that is in charge of the regulated activity which is the registered manager. So therefore they go hand in hand together. I hope that answers your question. Okay. Um, somebody also asked about they already have level six with placement and experience. Oh, uh, so they want to upskill themselves and apply for the deputy manager role. Are they eligible to do that? Yes, you are. Most deputy manager role doesn't even require you to already have level five or six or seven. It could be on the job learning whereby you, you might have already been in a, leadership role and you approach your employer and they allow you to do your level five with them so even if you don't already have one that is okay and you can get it through your employer and if you already have level five but you feel like you want to get more experience you don't want to just dive right into the register manager role then definitely applying for a deputy manager role is good because that way you are basically not in charge, you know, but you are also uh, in charge at the same time. So I would say that could be an option for yourself. Another question I have received regarding, sorry, one second. Do you need to be really good in English? Um, I would say you need to be able to communicate. You need to be able to write good English. You need to be able, you need to, be able to read good English so um, yeah I would say you need English but does it mean English must be your first language no uh, as long as you know how to communicate you know um, how to respond to people you know you're not like uh, a novice when it comes to talking in English then I guess you're good to go <laughs> I hope that answers your question okay the videos I've done so far regarding uh, becoming a registered manager somebody asked as if a domiciliary no it's not for domiciliary only it's for any whether it's domiciliary whether it's care home uh, whether it's nursing home uh, whether it's also relevant to some dentists um register um register manager question because we have similar things that obviously overlaps so that's fine the question is basically generic enough for anyone that has any interview with cqc to kind of use as a backbone for their revision or for them getting ready for a cqc interview okay how many hours did my interview last for? The interview itself was meant to be uh, three hours long. And obviously the interview is cut into two segments. You have the registered manager interview and you have the nominated individual interview. If you are both, you're going to be doing both. And they do the interview in those two segments. They separate it. But the questions are very, very similar. Okay. So my last step, it was meant to be for three hours, but it was about two hours that we ended up doing it. Like I've already said in some of the answers I've given, 
It's simply because some of the questions I've already answered, a follow-up question, like a question that I give a follow-up answer to. Because so she then she would she then say, Oh, you've already given me the answer to that, so there's no point asking that question again. So this kind of moved my interview along, which is why I keep saying that you should try and give as much detail in your answer when you're answering your question. Don't feel like I'm giving too much information. It might be for your own good, and then that way your interview is cut short. Within that three hours or two hours, you still get a break, a tea break, one with just one break. And that break was given just before we entered the limited individual question. So basically, right after the register manager question, we had a break and then we went to the limited individual question. But if you're not the person that is doing both roles, then you're lucky you don't have to sit there for two to three hours. Okay, I received a lot of requests, a lot of questions regarding how to get in touch with myself. Um, I've already put this contact in the description of every single video. You can get in touch with me by calling our office directly, 012 and you can actually speak with me. The admin will transfer it to myself if I'm in the office. And if I'm not, they will take a message and you can obviously come back another time or I'll call you when I am available uh, in the office. The same question, can I guide someone who is planning to set up a domiciliary agency company? Of course. Like I said, we offer consultation services. It is not free. It is a paid consultation. Use the details that I just mentioned earlier on to get across with us. Someone said they knew that, that they think the interview is online. Do they need to print out any um, anything? I would say because it's online doesn't mean to treat it as though you want to have papers and answers in front of you. Yes, you can have like, um, what would you call it? Sticky notes, guide points um, that you can be able to refer to, but it doesn't not mean you should have an answer right in front of you. Imagine somebody examining you and asking you a question and they can see you reading off a paper or reading off or looking down some, it's not gonna look good for you because at the end of the day, they expect you to already know this and have answers to these questions for them as you would be the one regulating this activity. You need to know what you're doing, how you're gonna do it. And those are what they're basically requesting for from you. Um, all these questions, you would have answered them, you would have gone through them during your work as a system manager that you've been on the job or when you're doing your level five. So you would have all kind of like, be familiar with all of these things. It's nothing new that you'll be asking you or something that they're trying to throw on, throw you off guard. No. Okay. It says, how many weeks after submission did I have my interview? It was about two to three months. After a couple of months of submitting, I was given my interview. Uh, okay. Another question says, can you be an independent provider and assistant manager at the same time? Being a provider is one, and being a assistant manager is another. You can be the owner, the provider of the company, like owner of the company, the provider, and you can have somebody employed as a registered manager, whereby you just be an assistant to that person in terms of the role of registered manager, assistant or deputy manager. Because maybe you yourself being a provider, be the owner, does not have the qualifications, so and you're not really interested in getting it, you can employ someone to do that for you, whereby you are the director of your company, the owner of your company, the provider, but you are not the registered manager. So of course that is possible, but you will still have to get someone as a registered manager regardless. I hope that makes sense. A lot of questions asking me about discussing the process of the interview and questions. I've given quite a number of questions, sample questions on my, um, on my YouTube channel. Please check out my playlist, become a registered manager. I will add the iCard over here. So please have a look at it read and watch any que all the questions that I've um, given so far already and obviously do your own research as well to try and find any other questions that is not covered so far because I can only cover so much. <laughs> what if I have a level seven in healthcare management and work experience for over three years? What else do I need? You need absolutely nothing than to get yourself a provider that is looking to employ you as a registered manager. That's it, you really, you've got the qualification, you've got the experience, so it's a matter of finding a provider that's willing to take you. If your experience is not as a registered manager, for example, let's say you just have an experience in the care sector, but not as a registered manager, you need to find yourself a provider that is okay to take someone with that pure experience as a registered manager. But if your experience has been as a registered manager, then you have nothing to worry about. Some providers like to have someone that's already got pure experience, depending on, depending on you know, what they're doing. So people don't do not, some people are even startups themselves, so they are okay to work with another startup. 
um, register manager. However, some more, some people, it's a care home. They wanted to already know, you know, have extensive amount of experience running a care home, so that way you, you just fit right in. If that makes sense, yeah. Does the management role include team leader role? When I say management role, management role is um someone that kind of have like a managerial authority. Uh, I would say maybe someone that is working in, as a care coordinator. Um, I would say someone that is a deputy manager already. I would say somebody that is a care manager, but not a really side manager. I would say someone that's more like into the HR of the company. So they basically know when it comes to all of this other stuff like administration, recruitment, safeguarding, you know, so that HR, a team leader might be depending on what your role is as a team leader so the provider or the company that you're trying to work with to get your level five might be able to discern if it is or not and don't get me wrong you might not even need to be in a mandatory role to get level five as long as your employer is okay with that so your employer might be the one because i've had um senior carers not team leaders senior carers in my company that showed interest in um, obtaining a level five and i have obviously allowed that and they are currently doing a level five at the moment so it's basically up to your employer i hope i've been able to cover most of the questions if there are any more questions I'll, I'll, i always 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 reply all my comments so you can post them in the comment section i will reply it and if there's any more questions that is not covered here and you don't want to put in the comment section please send me an email or message me on instagram even though my account is private i still receive requests and i still reply people uh so yeah i hope you guys find this video very very useful and helpful don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next video god bless you and bye bye